Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about do we need to learn DAX in 2025? The simple answer is yes. And let's try to understand why. Let's try to understand the history of uh, DAX. Basically, DAX was developed by the SQL Server Analysis Service team at Microsoft and as part of the project Gemini and released in 20, 2009 actually and the first version of the power pivot for excel so at the early stage of 20, uh, 2009 and 2010 the dax language got introduced right so a lot of people think like uh, dax is a language for power bi it is not the case since power bi is, was introduced in 2015 only prior to that dax language exist and also DAX is a language for Analyst Service, Power BI and Power Pivot in Excel. So if you learn DAX language, you can use that one, either one of the tool. Power BI is one of the tool that uses the DAX language. I hope it is clear with this uh, history. So I hope the age of DAX is right now is around 15 years. So let's try to talk about different ways to write the DAX, right? So earlier we had only one option, maybe last um, uh, first 10 years um, or uh, since the DAX introduced, first 5 to 10 years we had only the manual way of writing the DAX. Then Power BI team has enhanced with the quick measures and visual calculations right now a tools are famous so these are the different ways right now you can able to write the tags so having said that you have different options right now right earlier you need to write manually that's why i learned dax but do we still need to learn dax right now right let's try to understand with some demonstration so before jumping into today's topic this channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI and fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this uh, free content. Share this channel with your friends and colleagues. With this note, let's begin our topic. So first things first. So let us uh, try to understand what is uh, uh, different ways, right? As I said before, manual and manual way of writing DAX is let's try to take a simple example total ytd here and what it does it is the um it does the ytd of your values meaning like let's try to uh, change this uh, chart to um somewhat in a table so that we can able to see when i use this one the YTD is till January to February, it will sum it up, right? And then on 2017, again, it will uh, till it will sum up till uh, December. So it is the YTD value that 199780 is the YTD of 2016. And for 2017, January value is started. And then uh, this is the YTD value, right? So this is the very simple formula we can able to write in tax right it is a manual way of writing it now there is a second method what we are seeing here is like quick measures let's try to understand it so if you see uh, if the manual way of writing you will understand uh, the syntax right like you write total ytd and you want to calculate certain expressions and based on the date this is the uh, syntax uh, meaning you need to learn all the syntax then only you can write a proper DAX this is the first way conventional way now let's try to move on to the second way of writing DAX new quick measures so new quick measures you can see the same thing here year to date total right time intelligence there are a lot of functions over here and you can utilize uh, most of the commonly used across the industries or most of the calculations can be done using this so let's try to use this um, GUI based um, uh, DAX writing now the same formula white year to date total and then I need to use the base value right base value is sales amount drag and drop 
and the date is nothing but my dim date dim date is at the relation over here let's try to drag and drop here then i've added so this is creating my another ytd value that is sales amount ytd it created its own name if you see here this is the calculation uh, over here like dim date is filtered total ytd sum of it is same with the some kind of um, uh, what do you call uh, some error message as well right because it is written by some tool it also includes certain more syntax over here the formula remains same like total ytd sum of sales dim date dot dim date right but uh, the content over here it has some more contents apart from the manually written thing let's try to check it out this value as well now um, I need to use uh, this particular tool over here now the results are same because the formula is same uh, I can see the slight variation in the results okay this is the sales amount and total weight I need to use sorry so there is a confusion yeah this is the manually written and this is the code written by the uh, quick meshes so it is same here let's try to remove these two and now we have seen manual way of writing quick meshes as well that is the third way like new visual calculation here is the catch people think like um, they can do many options in the visual calculation but it was more restricted uh, at least if uh, someone who is not having a very good knowledge on visual measures they should also able to achieve the similar results if you see the ytd results till one year 2016 till this date the sum up value shown then 2017 new value has started that is new year has started i don't see anything that we can achieve using the uh, visual calculations here i have uh, one value here running sum so before going to that what is visual calculations meaning like you write a DAX that DAX can be used across any of the, your reports right that preside I mean that resides in your model that model wherever you are using this model you can refer in any one of the visual on differentiating it on contrast to it you can able to write a visual calculation right this is uh, the scope of this visual calculation is within this particular visual okay this also internally write the DAX now to achieve the year to date function I don't have that option but I have a similar uh, function here that is running sum let's try to write it out here so now what column I need to provide here right can't find the name I mean this field this field is the optional field so I need running sum of it as it says sum I should provide some of the uh, integer value right let's try to put sales amount then try it out now go back and check here yes it can it is returning the same result but if you see here instead of stopping at 2016 December uh, it also aggregates the value from 2017 what I'm trying to convey is my total YTD that I manually written and sales amount YTD that I have written using the quick measures is returning what I'm expecting that is YTD value stops at 2016 and 2017 the new value the new sum up is coming up whereas this running sum uh, but it doesn't intended for it but I don't know right now to write that calculation right as a ytd so here is the uh, issue comes up someone who wants to write within the virtual calculation they end up in uh, not achieving the desired results for that you need to learn how to um, write ytd functions within the visual calculations if it is not possible of course you need to write the measures separately that will not work in the visual calculations let's try to explore the last uh, but uh, not least the AI tools that is more powerful right now meaning like I don't have a copilot uh, license here uh, so I'm not showing this in the copilot so if you organization provides a copilot you can ask the copilot as well to write your DAX for time being I'm going to write uh, the uh, 
tax using the uh, uh, chat GPT that everyone is familiar of so let's try to ask a chat GPT I need I already asked it in front of you I'm asking I need DAX calculations for YTD that's it so it gives me same function you can see calculate sum of sales dates ytd data id right so i need to copy paste in my power bi right new measure but of course this sales is not uh, from this table uh, usually sales will be in the sales table all the analytics world they use the sales table that's why it's picking up so don't um, think chat gpt is reading from my uh, model when i put a key here okay so um, dim date uh, so you, if you see here i need to change relevant tables here this is one of the challenge right it is not a challenge you need to aware because this will give you the syntax but it doesn't know what table you have as a date table what table you have don't have in the sales table for in order to achieve this results right you should know at least a fundamental thing what i'm trying to convey this sales and dim date also to be related right if you see here someone comes and uh, does does the uh, ytd function in ai tools and if he types uh, i need a ytd function but your sales and dim date is not at all related right then this formula won't work so ensure that you have a very fundamental uh, logic uh, about your um, what you call uh, in your uh, power bi knowledge or any other analysis service knowledge then you can able to uh, utilize this chat gpt thing you see it returns the different function here whereas the total ytd over here uh, written by uh, manually also by the quick measures gives the uses the total ytd function whereas chat gpt uh, the ai function uses the different approach here meaning like calculate sum of dates by td dim date but both gives the same result let's try to use the chat gpt version yeah there you go so this is the manual one this is the quick measure one and this is the chat gpt one so you can see here it also returns the same value uh, similar to what we have because uh, it is using the date uh, formula so there are different ways to write uh, either using uh, total ytd or using calculate and dates ytd both are same but uh, i hope torus so chat gpt uh, is providing me uh, different dax function so that also you need to evaluate which is the best if you know certain function and chat gpt or ai tools giving you some other different function you need to properly evaluate I hope uh, the conclusion of this video is yes uh, you still need to learn DAX to validate whatever AI tools is giving or validate any quick measures is giving or you need to uh, amend on top of whatever AI tools or quick measures is giving so uh, I would suggest you need to learn DAX and master in DAX to have uh, very good modeling or uh, do uh, advanced calculations I hope uh, you understand what I'm and do remember that data is your asset.